Hi guys, my name is Deb Manning and I'm from Aussie Mail and today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make our staggered HP 3-in-1 bracelet. Alright guys, let's get started. To do half version 3-in-1 you're going to need approximately half of your rings closed and half of your rings opened. I would suggest that you pre-close your rings at least at a minimum it will help with um, the flow of the weaving and you can open the other ones up as you go along if you prefer. Now I'm going to show you half Persian 3-in-1 left leaning today. Uh, there are two different leanings, right and left. If you're more comfortable with right leaning then you can do the right leaning version. I learnt half Persian 3-in-1 left leaning first, that's the one I'm most comfortable with so that's the one I'm going to show you today. So to start this up, we want three of our pre-closed rings, two of them being the large quarter inch rings and one being the smaller 3 sixteenths. And we're going to feed these onto our twist tie and we want them to go one large, one small, one large. And we want them to stack up behind each other like this on our twist tie. Okay, and then we take our twist tie, we give it a couple of twists and we hold the rings in place. It's not ideal because of the discrepancy in the sizes of the rings. It doesn't sit 100%, but it does help a little bit. Now to do half Persians, we have um, <clears throat> a couple of terminologies that we use. One of them is through the eye. An eye is formed where two rings overlap. So this section here, where these two, the first and the second ring overlap, is called an eye. So when I say go through an eye, I mean you simply put the ring, the opened ring, straight through that eye there. When I tell you to go around an eye, we want to position the ring so that it comes in such a way that normally it comes you know, through one side here, goes around and comes down through the other side. So when you close the ring, it sits around that eye. All right, so just to start this weave off, you've got your three rings positioned and we're going to take one of our opened large rings and we're going to feed this through our first eye. So moving from left to right, our first eye that's formed by the first and second ring. So we just go straight through that eye like that and Close it up. Okay. And we let that fall to the side. So our work currently looks like this. The next ring that we place is a small ring. And this one we want to go through the eye that's formed by the second and the third ring but around the eye that's formed by the first and the second ring. So to do that we go through these two rings here and then we come up and we go through that big ring at the front making sure it sits on top of the ring that we placed previously. Okay, so it just goes straight through that ring there and we close that up. Okay, so this is what our work currently looks like. The next ring that we want to place is a large opened ring and on that large opened ring I've placed one small closed ring. So when you do half Persian 3-in-1, once you start weaving it, I always remember it as going down through 2 and up through 1. So down through 2 means we're coming down from the back to the front of the weave and up through means we go from the front to the back of the weave. So we want to go down through 2, up through 1. So our first down through becomes this weave here that we've closed, so our pre-closed ring, so that's down through 1 two and then we twist it around and we come up through the next ring in the weave which happens to be through the red small one making sure we keep on top of the ring that we placed previously 
We're not picking up anything here in the back. We're just going straight through that ring there. Okay. And we close that up. So now this is what we're looking like. And we've got one red dangly ring here. So what we want to do next is we want to place a red small opened ring with one of our pre-closed large rings. And we're going to go down through one, two, and up through one. Okay. And we close that up. So that now leaves us with a large dangly ring. So we know that our next dangly ring needs to be a small one. So that means we take up a large open ring and we pop on a small pre-closed ring. So we're going down through one, two, that's picking up this, the previously loose ring and coming up through one. Okay. So you can see how it looks there. And we close that up. Okay. So our last ring here is a red or is a small ring. So we know that the next pre-closed ring needs to be a large ring. So we've got our large pre-closed ring. We put that on our small opened ring. We go down through one, two, and we go up through one. Okay, close your ring. So we just keep doing that. So the way you remember what your next set of rings are, whatever your last ring here is, that's the color of the open ring, or that's the size and color of the open ring. And the small pre-closed ring, or the pre-closed ring, is um, the other size. So in this case, we've got a large silver pre-closed ring. So the next one is a large silver open ring with a small coloured pre-closed ring. And that is down through, as I said, down through one, two, and up through one. So you just keep doing that all the way along for the length of your bracelet okay alternating your rings as you need to I'll keep doing that and I will come back and show you how you can finish your bracelet off all right so I've reached the length that I need and I've finished up with um, a large ring being the dangly ring which is what you want to do ideally but you know the, that is up to you um, because I started with a large dangly ring or a large set of rings I want to finish with a large set of rings now to finish off this end I'm just going to take up just a large ring open ring by itself no pre-closed rings on that and I'm just going to come down through the back of one and up through the front of one okay and that uh, finishes off your bracelet and then on the other end you just simply remove the twist tie that you had at the other end um, and it looks exactly the same there so to attach your clasp now take up one of your small clasp attachment rings or whatever size ring it is that you're using for clasp attachment and feed it through those two large rings that are there I've already fed my lobster clasp on, so I'm just going to go through those two large rings and close that up. This may be different depending on what sort of lobster clasp or clasp attachment you're using, but just do whatever you need to do to um, have yours fit properly. You may need to add a little extra chain or something. Totally up to you. And then on the other end, we do the same sort of thing. We just take another clasp attachment ring feed it through those first two rings large rings and close that up so as I said you may actually want to do a little bit of an extension chain 
make um, you know, so that you can close it further down if you need to. It's up to you, whatever your clasp attachment type needs. But um, that's it guys. You've finished our staggered HP 3-in-1 bracelet. Now you can wear it either the ridge side up, which is generally considered the right way, or if you like the look of it, you can wear it the uh, trough side up, whatever floats your boat. Okay guys, that's it. That's how you make our bracelet. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. And if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up here on YouTube, um, share, comment, or if you haven't already, perhaps subscribe to our channel. Um, every little bit of interaction we have with you guys here goes a long way towards helping us. And in the long run, that means we can create more of these free tutorials for you. So if you have any questions at all about the uh, tutorial today, don't forget to leave that in the comment section below the video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, in the description tabs below the video um, are the list of all the components and tools that we use today, along with the links to our online store where you can buy all, um, all the components you need to make the bracelet. Um, also there in the description tab is the links to our social media, so don't forget to check us out. And if you want to share what you've done, you know, tag us on Instagram or perhaps pop an image up on our Facebook wall. We'd love to catch up with you guys and see what you're doing with our tutorials. Alright, so as I said, I really hope that you guys did enjoy the tutorial today um, and that we see you again sometime in the future. Bye now.